Good morning, Paraquid. Good morning, Lenarth. How are you two today? It is Valentine's Day weekend. And we have BD cards to hand out. Haven't really thought this through, though. I think the plan was to set them up as redeemable options and whip bits. But if we do it that way, I'm not sure if they'll even make it. To your point. I was thinking about more just hanging them out on Twitter or on through Discord. Oh, you did a thing? What thing did you do? Streamcore thing is really, really useful. And let's go to the first thing I'm going to try and shout today. I have long since owed Steel a writing trade, so I should get to that. It's kind of sad. I'm wondering, kind of curious if I should have kept the keyboard ASMR after all, which is being blocked by my noise suppressor if it's built into OBS. Oh, just help some friend out? That's good. It's always good to help your friends. Who knows, they might end up helping you in the future, right? <laughs> Let's just get comfortable here. Should probably stick more pillows in my chair or something. <laughs> Arrange the position, having the hands sit up straight. And then need some inspiration actually. Let's see now, SB ninety eight girls front line.
be honest, I don't use these these two characters well enough to know what their personalities are like. So I'm going to have to wing it. But to give you give chat an idea of what I'm working with right now. Um, in return for in return for M16 slash, I did ask, or Steel did request a story involving these two. Which I will show you in chat in just a moment. So, it is a worthy task for one of my skills, but. As to how successful I will be in performing it, that is yet to be found, yet to be seen. We shall see, is the order of the day. We shall see, we shall see. I also resist the urge to write memes. I often find that when I am anxious about starting a new story, I tend to delve. I have a problem of sometimes delving into stereotypes, into really low tier content at first, anyway. Let me move chat somewhere where it can be seen too, because I can't be. Hmm. Where is that? Cap chat. There we go. How's it look? Can y'all be seen? Can y'all be understood? Let me see here. Um. Oh dear. That did not work as intended. Move this here. Move that there. Just help some friend out. Do, do, do. All right, that works for now, I guess. There we go. Going to put this down here. Awesome. Oh. Huh, this works just fine, actually. Okay. another Russian sniper in Girls Frontline. I need to look at the wiki because I have not hipped up with some, I have not used some of these stalls like period. So, having trouble remembering some of them as it is anyway. T-Doll Index. There's gotta be a way to separate these things by, I wish there was a way to separate these things by um, a nation of manufacturers, so it'd be easier to pick them up at a no adult moment's notice. At the moment, um, the best way to search these, therefore, would be instead through gun type, which is assault rifle, handgun, submachine gun, and rifle. <coughs> Thankfully, I also know the rarity. ATRD is who I'm looking for at the moment. Let's check their story. It's not like being involved in troublesome work. Both flirty and aggressive when their interaction is often being something of a tease. Let's see, fairly easy to. Okay. 
We'll attempt that. An attempt will be made. There was an attempt. See what SV98's motivations are like as well, just to be sure. SVD story F4 FCD prideful, unlike the other characters such as him, she does not belittle other fellow T doesn't know anyway. Instead, she is more like something things simply won't do without me. Despite her prideful demeanor, SVD often worries that and cares about for her fellow T doesn't even for commander two other dolls. She is more like a reliable senpai than they that they can rely on. It's more common in her own ability, much of her performance seems to be relying on her long service experience instead of actual ability rating. <laughs> a bit like the real SVD, but unlike sometimes she does not have dust of accident makes mistakes which leaves her in embarrassment. It's cool. SV98. Anime girls with guns is such a big genre nowadays. It's been one for a while too. Even before Girls Frontline. There was always this beauty about having small girls with large guns and people are not so... I'm not entirely sure why, I've not really looked into the topic. SV98 has like no story written on her wiki page, really? I wonder why. She's one of the first girls I DJ minded. And she has so much good art. I guess it's because she's one of those characters that people tend to raise for a little bit and then they get rid of when she's no longer useful. I had a mentality for a while too, but... Um, I kind of want to eventually raise all of my girls and make use of them at some point. You kind of just kind of fall into this thing of just sticking to a few characters that you're comfortable with and not bothering to mix and match, which unfortunately also means that the game gets kind of boring after a while when you keep it like that for too long.
There we go. I wonder. Filters, noise suppression, lower to speaks, close. I wonder what this sounds like. I decided to lower the noise suppression a bit so it still reads my key presses. Because they're not reading my key presses when I'm typing the higher noise suppression, and I can't help but feel a little bit awkward just giving a mostly silent stream. I feel like there's something to hearing someone typing in the keyboard, and I don't by any means have one of those you know, ASMR aesthetic type keyboards that people like listening to. I prefer the clackety clack, but I kind of want to give people the impression that, or that I am in fact still here, in case you have to look away and don't see the words slowly typing themselves out along the page. <coughs> <coughs> So 
suppose I will have to remember to turn back our, the uh, other noise suppression service when it's time to play video or do something else. But in the meanwhile, These tags are really lacking, aren't they? At least I was able to put writing on there. <laughs> Sorry about that. My cough always seems to return when I didn't have a very good night's sleep, which unfortunately I didn't this time. Entirely my fault again, of course. But hmm, I think it's fine. Yep, I'm writing your story now, Steel. <laughs> Took me a bit to uh, create a concept. 
to be honest, I'm kind of running a little wild because I've not written in a while. Some really rough around the edges. Have a concept. I have kind of an idea for where I want to go with this. Yeah. Hmm. How are you today? The art that I'm referencing. So I actually didn't know SP98 had this costume. But apparently she has a May costume. Which I thought was really cute. It's very simple too. Teapot here, cards here, same shoes, th thigh highs, little holster there. <clears throat> Alright. Take your time. Please drive safely. There are short <clears throat>
Do, do, do. <clears throat> I forget, does this save automatically as a type? I think so. 393 words already? Man, I forgot uh, how long these things can be. <clears throat> I'm used to writing about a thousand words per session. Why was my face showing a surprise just now? I need, really need to recalibrate the Savitar's expression system. It's great when it works. It's weird when it doesn't work. One of the fears I have uh, of writing new stuff, especially when you're writing from someone else, is to accidentally overwrite or have your idea get muddied. <clears throat> especially if you're like me, who is a, who is a, let me fix my hands just a second, who is a pantser. What this means is that we don't tend to outline that much. We tend to just sort of write things and let the stream of consciousness take us where that wilt. I'm a little bit of both. I had to do a lot of daydreaming about projects I want to do, and then I try to write down key ideas, sometimes dialogue that appears in my mind, and then I try to translate that into the next chapter or section of a story. Um, so it's not kind of like outlining, but not really. I tried the outlining, outlining method before, where you just sort of like create idea, or well, it's like the name implies, right? You like outline your ideas and stuff on paper before you start going on with it and it just doesn't work for me I don't think that way I don't think I can't really structure my stories like one would structure an essay even then I never really structured essays like that consciously before writing them I would probably do it consciously where I think like okay thesis statement introduction plot body restating the thesis blah 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 but I've never really done that with regards to fiction and when I've tried to I will invariably destroy what I've written before and write something new <clears throat> it's like that meme I was just showing you guys that one Saturday where I was drawing and I was kept trying to draw a circle and I was getting frustrated and eventually I just like you know what fuck it I'm just gonna sketch out what I want to do really quickly and then I just kind of fit together like puzzle pieces that were not carved before you set them down on a table and suddenly the shapes just happen to make sense. Similar idea. Similar idea. My mouth is getting dry. Let me drink some water really quick. If I can get back in the habit of writing regularly and sharpen my resharpen my skills, I'm thinking about offering this to other VTubers on Twitter. I always see people that are complaining about not having lore or not knowing where to start or wondering if their lore is good enough, and I thought, hmm, well, I can't draw very effectively, and there are other services that I can't offer as effectively as others that I don't feel confident about giving the people, so, but what if I were to write people's lores? Well, I could probably do a little bit of ghostwriting like that, but nothing too much, because, you know, uh, it gets a little too much sometimes. I have to limit it to a certain number of people too. I can't write the stories of 30 different VTubers in the course of a week or anything like that. Not that I couldn't try, but...
Sorry about that. I just noticed that people are still raging up to now about the Russia situation. It's sad. Let me move my avatar a little bit here. There we go. And to stop mirroring motion as well. Actually, no. I guess we'll have mirror motion after all. Because if I do it this way, it's like I'm talking to chat, which I'm supposed to be doing anyway. Now, if I look over here, I'm clearly working on my writing. <laughs> Moves myself so that for anyone stopping by, they can read the text that I have going on at the moment. For anyone who may be lurking, or for anyone watching this VOD later on, I am writing SV98 slash SVD slash fic uh, by a quest of a good friend. This is based on a game called Girls Frontline, which is a game that takes place in the far dystopic future. It involves androids named after, well, androids synths, something like that, named after weapons. The PMC that they work for has this weird thing where they name everyone by the weapons they're assigned. And they use all these old school weapons because um, they can't really afford laser beams and cool stuff like that. They do have four shields though, which is really cool. Shields, but no lasers. <laughs> Unless you're Type 88, I guess, who has a railgun. How much does noise suppression suppress? Interesting. I need to listen back on this later, see how <clears throat> overly effective it is, if and if it is in fact overly effective.
Is SV SV98 younger or than Dragonov? I need to check that actually. Before I sound really stupid. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Well, I guess I won't be able to change it now since I've written this as SV98 is the younger of the two, but. Primary rifle, sniper rifle, the Russian airborne troops since 2015. Okay, let's check out Draganov then. So that's 1998. Hmm, that's weird. Is this not a enough? I thought it was. Pretty sure SVD was what they renamed Dragonov too. Yep, Dragonov sniper rifle. Thought so. Dragonov is very old. 1958, 1963. Meanwhile, SV98 is a is more of a Law enforcement weapon that was more recent, came out in 1998. So, pretty, uh, pretty recently by comparison. Part of the reason I don't write fanfiction as much as I used to is because I tend to be a stickler for like lore accuracy. And if I don't if I don't get anything everything perfect, I get kind of annoyed with myself and it makes me not want to write anymore. I'm writing slash here, so I'm taking a lot of liberties with the plot anyway, and a lot and with their character personalities to begin with. But I still want to at least get it somewhat close to the source material. I know personally that when I read stuff of my own of characters from Girls from Run that I enjoy, that I too get kind of annoyed when people do things differently than the established part do things a little too differently with some exceptions for example i really like evil m14 even though evil m14 is completely antithetical to how m14's actual character is in the game gee lore in a in a gacha game what's this <laughs> girls frontline is like 90 percent visual novel <laughs> Which makes me feel bad because I've just been doing mostly the missions and grinding lately, and I've not taken the time to actually read anything. But the game is more the game is more about reading than anything because this gameplay, quite frankly, gets dull. Mm -hmm. Re censorship. Really glad they have an option in the end ver in the uh, EN English version of Girls Frontline to remove some of the censorship that they had to put in, because Chinese laws do not apply to the rest of the world. Hopefully, never do. All right. Let's put Dragonov back here, really quick. Need more art of Dragonov. Dragonov is definitely an underappreciated doll in this game. Kind of funny too, because Dragonov is kind of a famous rifle in the real world. But I guess the same could be said of AK-47, huh?
Oh, let me warm you up then. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no kidding. Speaking as someone who's also attempted to drive with ambient noise in the background or ASMR music, it's dangerous. It really mix it mixes in with hypnotic, um, with the uh, hypnosis effect from steering at the, say at the similar roads for too long, and becomes a serious hazard. My mechanical keyboard's hypnotic, then. Well, I guess turning off the noise suppression. Did its intended job after all. That's where I look for an enlistment. Had to put one of my angry guys yelling podcasts back on. Hmm. <laughs> well, as long as it kept you awake, right? I personally would prefer not to listen to angry stuff when I'm driving because it probably adds to my road rage. But as long as it keeps you awake, I'm just gonna move my mod a little bit here. There we go. Thank you. 
Hmm. Oh, let's see. Let me read back chat really quick. You guys have good inspiration when writing. I always had huge trouble during all my studies to write anything. I'd take forever to do those extra words, report stories. That's my favorite genre, to be honest, Lenarth. You should see me trying to focus on OC content. I've only done a couple of fanfics since I got back to writing. Speaking of, I should get back to working on that Valhalla fic I promised to write. <laughs> if you're home, maybe you could just write together. Didn't, I didn't have much planned for day, today. I kind of want to avoid playing more video games since I've been doing that non-stop for a while. Lost Ark is also kind of burning me raw right now. And I haven't written in a while, I kind of felt bad, so that's why I'm doing this right at the moment. Mm -hmm. I was going to actually ask if you got, if you all wanted to just give me prompts and I'll see what I could cook up. But that's based heavily, that's heavily reliant on if anyone shows up to this, today's stream, so that's why I decided to write uh, Steel Slash Vic instead. Mm hmm. I mean, I could still do that, actually. Um, I'm getting close to the end of the first part of this before I write to the... Well, actually, this might end up being a three-parter. I'm not so sure yet. Um, because if it isn't clear from the subtle context I've been weaving into, into throughout, um, SVD, who is normally this really prideful... Well, not really prideful, but really self-assured, very... Um, very assertive character is quite obviously kind of reticent, kind of worried about letting SV S letting SV ninety eight know about this was supposed to be um, supposed to be a happy moment where she's a three star doll that is being removed from the bench and she's going on a mission for the first time in a while. Oh, sure. Take your time. Why can't I find any... Is there really nothing on here on the official, on the fan Girls Frontline wiki about SV-98? Surely some people like this character, right? Why is it empty? God. There's even people in the comment section be like, where is the story for SV-98? I know it exists, because I DJ-minded SV-98 also, but I didn't read the story yet. So... Shit, really?
This is why I'm kind of just running with running with it at the moment because I don't have easy access to lore right now on which to draw inspiration from. Also, apparently, this costume is exceedingly rare and was only available with purchase of the art book. So, damn. <laughs> She was erased from the old Senet. Yeah, something like that. I keep typing shit.
Oh, what did I do? Shit. Where'd it go? Oh, no. Here we go. Okay. Bang, go back. SV98. Story is dragging a little bit. I need to clean up this part and go on to the next part. Hmm. Um, I was trying to look up information on SVD's personality, and I found it mostly on the wiki, because, but what I didn't expect was there to be more story written on the wiki about SVD than there would be for SV98. You would think it would be the opposite, since SV98's been or is, actually has a Digimind upgrade and all that, but um, SVD at least has content, which I thought was very interesting about her personality. I adapted it slightly to the fanfiction, to the fiction, but um, at first glance it may seem like I've completely changed her identity because... Wait, what the hell? I didn't know there was special ammo for SVD. I slightly changed her personality, or just kind of add a nuance to it I should say, where she's normally... Normally a very proactive doll. Hmm. She endures sportswear. Oh! Oh, what do you know? As it turns out, SVD and SV98 do hang out a lot. They are, in fact, sisterly. I'm glad I guessed that correctly. How does SVD view her successor, SV98? Will she date her? Where do they go for dates? In 98 is hard-working successor. They will train together at the fire range or go out camping, occasionally shop at the mall. SVD would be embarrassed if she was treated like a real girl, such as being gifted flowers, chocolates, etc. Oh, she's a sundry. Ah, oh, this is so cute. She is not very good at culinary, but she's not willing to admit it. This is so cute. That makes sense. Yeah, I couldn't find any story whatsoever of SV98 in the wiki, which really was really upsetting. And I have her as a Digimine mod 3, but I haven't taken the time to read her story yet, so I really, I really don't know anything about SV98 at all. So I just sort of been making it up as I go. Oh my god. So you mean to tell me I've been pretty much writing them straight or right playing them straight without even realizing it? <laughs> well, I guess they are kind of similar, like personality wise. Siblings tend to be similar in some ways. Shh. <laughs> 
shit. <laughs> then you realize I've been playing her as an as an is a make a set kind of person too. <laughs> oh my god. This is brilliant. Cool. Hopefully you'll enjoy what I'm writing then. Aww.
Wow, booba. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Wow, booba. Yes, indeed. There's a great many booba in this game.
Mm-hmm. The Chad PTRD versus the Coomer DSR-50. Indeed. I don't use PTRD myself, although apparently at one time she was a sort of meta bamboo rifle. That's why she also has additional equipment.
Let's see now. VM. Is it a VM P59? Oh, that's weird. Didn't show up. VM 59, also known as BMP 59. Oh, this is a Beretta. This is an Italian made. This is not the one I was looking for. I'm looking for one of the two star, cheaper two star rifles. That's also, I believe, Russian. But I need to find it. This, this is a rifle I don't use. This character also has a mod though. I can just find it. There are a two-star doll, I believe. Hmm. These are all the assault rifles. Where's the rifles? Where's the uh, rifles? Here we go. FN forty-nine. That's who I was thinking of. Wait, it can't be FN forty-nine. She's Belgian. She is not Russian. Instead, we'll use Simonov. Also known as SKS. Hmm. Let's call her Simonov in this one. Equipment.
I'm not going to word this. I'm not going to wear this. You know what? There's no point being subtle about this. I'm just because she's not a very subtle character. Or at least the way I'm portraying her is not very subtle. This is also Makarov, not Markov. Yeah, I'm starting to wonder if I should put content warnings in the story, but I'm probably not going to stream the parts that are of an adult nature anyway. Not sure how Twitch would feel about that. I'm not sure how Twitch's uh, systems work like that, if it needs to be reported or what. But then again, I mean, it's not like people aren't lewd on stream all the time, but what if you're writing, um, you know, you know, that kind of literature. Is I have an idea of where to take this that just can't occur to me. The more I think of these things, the more the scope of this story kind of increases, but if at, at the very at least I hope it's an enjoyable one, so. I'm going to send you a DM, Steel. You know what? I'm gonna actually I'm gonna make this leave this a surprise. I just thought of a direction for the story, which I think would work pretty well for what I'm going at, and can give me some practice. But it's not where I was originally going. Originally, I was going for something a lot softer, but now I just thought of a uh, sideways that kind of thought of a direction that I think is hot, but it's kind of a little bit out of my scope. It's kind of funny too because up until recently I wasn't into this sort of thing, but I think I found a way to make it work. It's just kind of embarrassing uh, kind of turning stories into this direction. Um, publicly, I tend to keep these sort of things close to the hill, you know what I'm saying? Still. So. That's true. <laughs> Scope creep is like my bread and butter. It's just that I thought of something and the story is kind of turning in this direction anyway. I'm not sure if anyone has noticed. But um, 
I want to keep it a secret, but at the same time, I want to gush about the brilliant idea I just had. I mean, we're writing Slash anyway, so... It's not like it's canon, right? <laughs> if there are any really big PTRD fans out there, I'm sure that they would be bitching to hell and back at me right now. With where I'm taking this, but... Um... I mean, come on. I was going to DM something to you to ask you if you were alright with a certain genre, uh, a certain kink. But I'm fairly sure you're into this anyway because of previous stuff we've shared. So I want to keep it a secret, but... And this is just something I thought of, like, right now. I was originally thinking of originally going somewhere different with this story, as far as the, um, H is concerned. Also, unfortunately, this means the story is going to end up probably being a lot longer than I intended originally. <laughs> it's already a lot longer than I expected, what with the first part being kind of a little bit maybe overly sentimental and the second part was originally supposed to be the transition but now it's a little bit more than a transition okay as you wish You know what? I think I actually read a story that had PTRD in it as well. It was, in fact, in the uh, mod story for NTW. And she was actually very nice in that story. She was actually very polite. Very def complete, not anything like how I'm depicting her in this story, in this uh, fan fiction. Which is funny too, because you wouldn't get the impression from looking at her. She kind of has this huge mommy dominatrix energy what with the excessive belts the thigh highs the stockings the under booba and this face nah nah i'll keep it close to the hilt for now i'm not sure if you've been reading long but um i've kind of implied the relationship between ptrd and svd You know, if this is good enough, maybe I should start posting a- maybe, maybe I should make a AO3 account and start posting this stuff on there. <laughs> Did I write Hilt? One second. 
Where did I write help? One second. Where where did I where did I say help? <laughs> My bad. Oh. I wonder why I say hilt instead of chest when the correct terminology is close to the chest. I, I don't I don't know why I do that. I have a lot of strange mannerisms like that. <laughs> yeah. I say it's quite obvious that I say it out of habit. I don't know why I do. I it's just you know. May I just keep saying close to the hilt, because specifically because it's lewd, you know, to spite you. <laughs> Unless it annoys you, in which case I'll make an effort to stop. You would know about something going down to the hilt, wouldn't you? <laughs>
No, shit. Wrong button. <laughs> Back to my horny cell. You see, you're wrong. I'm not locked away from. I'm not locked. I'm. How shit? How does it go? I'm not locked in here with you. You are all locked in here with me. Me, the horny cell, was the community that we made all along. Or all. Oh, I, I can't fucking mean right now. I'm too. And like, it's hard for me to not be horny in the mind because what the hell do you think I'm writing for you? <laughs> hmm. How many words is this? 1,000? This is already 1,590 words. I am so sorry. I'm getting so into the story now. <laughs>
Yeah, you're the one pulling on your own chain, you mean? Getting it nice and tight for the rest of us. Hmm. All right, time for part three. Been writing for two hours straight. It's been no while since I spent so much time writing. Kind of want to take a break now. <sighs> uh, I'm really excited for what I have for a plan for this story, though. Just hope I'm able to do it right because even though I'm working with erotic lets, the uh, themes I want to work with are kind of 
kind of um, tense, I guess? Well, not kind of. They're very tense. Um, <laughs> it's part of the reason I can't even talk about... I can't talk too much in detail about them because... Um, spoilers. Also... I don't know. It just doesn't feel right. To I don't think I feel comfortable talking about the subject matter that I'm bringing with um, in public. Maybe someday I will. But like in the sense of like in in writing um, fiction that's meant to be erotic or will eventually become erotic, it feels uncomfortable to discuss because it will involve certain kinks that some people may find disagreeable. Which I guess is a lot of kinks, right? But hmm. I mean, I'm fairly sure you won't mind. I guess what I'm concerned about is whether I should continue writing this now or later, or if I should continue to rest off screen. I don't. I've seen some people get away with some crazy shit on Twitch, but I also know Twitch is kind of janky when it comes to enforcing them in terms of service and also maybe i guess you could just set the stream to m rated and then i can continue but i don't know um i don't want to tell you what the what I would tag this because they're huge spoilers. <laughs> it's, but I was just, and I was just thinking of AO3 um, and how the tagging system works there and the stuff. And it's kind of funny when you see a story and the title might not be that interesting, but then you look at the tags and you're like, oh wow, the shit that they tag this with. I wonder if I should buy this skin. I've not bought any skins in any game with real world money in a while. To be honest. What's well, Comdost? Uh, uh, I don't know my I'm just stretching. Mm, fuck.
<laughs> that's true. Oh, uh, YouTube, I think, is in some ways tricked into Twitch. I used to thought to think it was the opposite. But. Very lewd tuber, more even than eat some of the Vishochu girls. Wow. I mean, I've seen some pretty out there lewd tubers. One of which is Kovef. Kovef Chan is pretty lewd. In fact, I think that's like her old shindig. Okay. Just wondering how Twitch would feel about lewd erotic lit being written on Twitch. Which makes me curious, actually, if anyone's done that before. You're writing live streams. Sort by recommended for you. Let's see what pops up. Unboxing a Chiachiri, Zydfer RPGs, React, Burger Do, 24 hours, start in D. These are all German? Why? Co work and study with me, discovering influence, 25 year goal for stream readers. Interesting. Let's try writing. Is anything going to show up when I push this button? Hmm. I don't even have any of my blocks on. Oh, there are other writing streamers on here. Interesting. Viewers, hi to low. The streamers on, on the highest section don't even have, aren't even writing anything. Well, one of them is reading something, they're reading aloud, I guess, so that counts. Another here is discovering influence. Interesting. This one's a Brazilian, uh, artist. Here's low to high. I like the fact that you can actually look at them low to high as well. Immediately I find another person that's making a video game and they're a VTuber as well. Another person here is playing Pathfinder. Another is editing some short fiction it looks like. Which is cool. I guess we do exist, because so I've seen, I've followed quite a few uh, writing tubers on Twitter lately. Safety, nudity, sexual content. Thank you. Let's see what they have to say for themselves. To maintain the healthy health of our community and promotes content as appropriate for a diverse audience, sexually suggestive content is prohibited on Twitch. Evaluations on the sexual suggestiveness of behavior or activity are independent of user attire and are instead based on the overall surrounding framing and context. This policy also applies to embedded media, augmented reality, creative broadcasts, and channel content such as banners, profile images, emotes, and panels that are focused on provocative images or video. Content that is considered to be sexually suggestive includes, but is not limited to, content or camera focus on breasts, buttocks, pelvic region, including poses that deliberately highlight these elements, groping or explicit gestures directed towards these, fetishizing, fetish, fetishizing behavior activities such as focusing on body parts, 
simulated sex acts or sexual simulation. You're using or featuring sex toys, erotic dances, pole dances. Man, there are so many pole dances on Twitch. What the hell? Posting, displaying, or sharing erotica, including detailed description of sex acts or pornography. There you have it. We definitely cannot continue writing this here. Or continue writing this on stream. I'll have to continue it outside of stream. Rip. Uh, contextual ex URL streaming, swim in beaches, body art. It's kind of weird if body art is not covered under this. Additional exceptions. Content that breaks TOS or CG, whether shown accidentally or on purpose, can be reported and moderation may take appropriate action on that content, including removing the content and issuing a suspension on your account. Given the nature of live content, we expect you to take proper precautions, even one incident may warrant an action. Yeah. They're very explicit about it. So unfortunately, um, that kind of means we will have to stop writing this here. I'll continue at off stream. I'm really excited for the direction I'm taking in the story. So I, when I do eventually get to send this to you, I hope you'll enjoy it. And I do apologize in advance for me writing uh, a short fiction, which is this turning into. It's 1,590 words right now. I can't imagine this being shorter than 3,000, maybe 4,000 by the time I'm done with each section. Because we got pretty much introduction. We got, and that's implied to be a flashback. We got the uh, current situation, which is a small Ashan being sent to support two others because a mission went wrong. We're going to, and I guess the reason, part of the reason I stopped was I didn't know if I should continue the story onward to their destination or if I should do another flashback. And that flashback may be erotic in nature. <laughs> this automatically saves, right? It's been a while since I've. Well, I could always go back to any one of these, I think, and edit my previous writing, so I don't think it matters um, if. Let's see, posts. These are anonymous if you have posts. Counts. Okay. Yeah, it's been a while since I used this website, so. Publish to anonymous, and well, what I'm trying to figure out is, can you edit um, this stuff? Because it's been a while, and I forgot if you can or not. Let's go here. Oh, you can. You can just push edit. I'm dumb. That's true. And it'd be most unfortunate to lose 1,000, to lose uh, over two hours worth of work. But yeah, if you want to read over what I have right now, I'm going to go ahead and send you the link to my right as.
You know, that was good. Felt good to ride again in such a large amount. Hmm. Thank you, Lenarth. Well, with that out of the way, what should we do next, chat? We got another half an hour or so. Something tells me I'm definitely going to have to nuke this VOD or something because that was bad even for me but um where was I I was going to save these images into a folder to use as oh thanks for the resa or for the resa Lenarth. I much appreciate it. Yeah, probably. I'm going to actually stop streaming for like two seconds and then start the stream back up again. You know, just to cut off the this VOD from the future one. Or from the uh, continuation. One second. For reasons. <laughs> <laughs> 